Welcome to today's Daily Geosense Challenge. We are back again, just the two of us. Somebody's partying again. Yeah. Rob the Muggle has some things he has to do today, so we're just going to come out. Got a bunch of caches to finish up to get this trail done, and we're going to get our day started. We're picking up where we left off, right down across the bridge, and then we're going to head down and get some more. Let's do some geocaching. Mm -hmm. We're on the paved section of the trail, just like we were last time. Easy walks. I'm not going to show you the trail the whole entire time. Because we're going to do a bunch of caches in one day to spread them out now, over the next here? week. I don't know. Mine looks like it's kind of going to... It looks like it's pointing off a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. Looks like we're going to leave the trail for 100 feet. Or it's probably in between, you know what it is, probably in between. We're probably going to go down here and find out that. Yeah, it's kind of like on this side of it, maybe. 50 feet. Yeah. Let's just go back and turn that way. Yeah, of course. That's what's going to happen. 40. Oh, there's a pile there, but. I'm thinking. 8 feet. 18. Well, then how much you want to bet? Uh, or here. Or here. Yeah. What's, what, there's that log. There's that log in right here. Look. That looked like it could be something. What size is that? I didn't even see what size is That's probably a micro. Yep. Micro. Micro two, two and, and a half, two. two. The hint was geopile. Today's cache that we found for this episode, preformed tube, camouflaged, white lid, nothing but a log. This is a traditional micro, two and a half difficulty, two terrain, and now we bring you ground zero. Three locations for you to pick from. Let's show you the walk up to all three right now. For location number one, do you come in off the trail, come down to Grass Hill, make your way over here towards the rotten tree pile. You have the tree in front, you have the tree behind. For number one, do you come back here to these two sticks, lift it up, and find yourself a preformed tube is location number one the original geocache location or is it not number one let's show you number two so you can make a choice location number two you come off the ironton rail trail you come down the grass trail you turn over here towards the tree once again but now you look in front at the bottom you come over here there's number two and if you move this, there's your preformed tube under the tree. Is location number two possibly the original geocache location? Let's show you one more so you can make your best choice. For location number three, again, come down a grass trail. But instead of heading towards the middle of the trees, head over here towards the end. And then location number three, right here on top. You see a little bit of a geo pile, and you move it, and you have your preform tube. Could location number three be the original geocache location? Hmm, I wonder which one it is. All right, you've seen the walk up. Nats? Yep. <laughs> they're they're out again. It's not. It's not cold enough yet for the bugs to go away, so we're still having to deal with them from time to time. <laughs> but they're not as bad as they were in the beginning, thank God. So now you have three locations. You got one and two over by Keith, and you have three over here by me. Where do you think the preform tube is? Take your best guess. Leave a comment down below, and go visit yougotafrightinpa.com after this video. 
So you can find all the information that you need to know about the GeoSense Challenge and the monthly giveaways. Not only that, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Keith, why don't you show? Why don't you tell them one location it's not? One, definitely oh, not up there. One, gone. Yes, getting rid of one. Why? Because it's not the best. One is not the best at all. So now, two or three. We have a lot of people on the trail today. Good thing that this one's off to the side. We can get it filmed. All right. Do you have it in the right location over there? Or do I have it in the right location over here? How many people pick two? Should, raise your hands. Did you raise your hand? Because we can't see you. Ready to hire. Yeah, hire, <laughs> hire. I don't see any. Well, this preform tube, guess what? We'll give it to Keith. No, we won't because it's over here at number three. Not number two. Number two is good. Number two is good, but number three is the original. Let's put it back. Come right here. Move the geo pile. Put that down inside. It doesn't want to cover up, is there? There we go. And cover it up so nobody can see it. All right. Cash one for us today is done. This episode is done. Quick, simple, walk down the trail from parking. Easy area to film, even though we have a lot of passerbys. And we're going to have that all day, I have a feeling. This section, yeah. It's the uh, back side of the loop. It's a five-mile loop for the IRT. And we're on the back side area where the Hockendagua rail yard used to be. That's where we're going to be heading into. Ooh. And um, it's hit or miss on the people coming. Some, some come all the way around and some don't. Some stop and turn around. And they only walk certain uh, so far from the parking lot. There's no parking back this way. So... We'll see how many people we deal with. But this episode is over with. We'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of our trip on this Sunday. Happy trails, happy caching, and go get a smiley. Stay tuned.